Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and I've got a mystery package here from, I'll try to cover up my address, from JHS Pedals. Uh, Josh told me this package was coming. He did not tell me what's in it, so this is gonna be a surprise for you and for me. Um, he said it was gonna make my whole week. It was gonna be the best thing I got in the mail all week long, so. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but here we go. Cracking it open with my official 60 cycle hum scout knife here. Josh and JHS have already been so generous to me this year, hosting me at their headquarters to film content for a couple days. And then Josh gave me that Revelator guitar. I can't imagine what else he'd be sending to me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I know exactly what it is. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> it's the lamp! The lamp! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, the light bulb was left in it, and it broke in shipping. <laughs> Broken glass everywhere in here. Oh, and they signed it. Josh and Nick signed it down here. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I'm gonna have to do the potato trick or something to get that broken bulb out of there. Uh, so this lamp was in their pedal musical. And Steve and I did that mis... What did we call it? Uh, the Musical Science Theater 60,000 thing where we watched the pedal musical. And uh, I kept freaking out whenever the lamp showed up in, uh, in the set piece because it would be on the table of whatever inventor was coming up with whatever historical pedal. And I, I came to the conclusion that the lamp is the secret. The lamp is there every single time a historic and important pedal is invented. So now I've got it. Now the burden is on me. Now I have to invent a historic and important guitar pedal. Unless the magic was in that bulb. In which case, the post office just screwed up big time. There will be no more important pedals made in the future. <laughs> it's the lamp! I've got the lamp now. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, everyone at JHS. This <laughs> I will cherish this. I will cherish this for the rest of my life. And when my wife looks at it one day and is like, do we really need this lamp, honey? I'm like, you, how dare you? Don't you dare get rid of that lamp. That lamp is special and important. That lamp was there for all the most important events in guitar pedal history. I'm honestly wondering how they're going to make the sequels to the pedal musicals without this lamp. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching this uh, incredibly short and yet very important unboxing. Bye, everyone. Stay grounded. Banshee's Same lamp. Of Same Music lamp as earlier. Store. And the lamp is there. The lamp! <laughs> The lamp is back every single time there's been a pedal innovation. The lamp has been there. California, 1966. He's the lamp! The lamp! Is the Wav, is the Vox Wav the... You see before you. The lamp! The lamp is back. That means something important is going to happen. Every time that lamp has been in a room, an important guitar pedal has come into existence. How did this lamp get from England to Japan? They're shipping it around. Every time, every time that, amp, that lamp ends up somewhere. It's an important situation. The lamp, the lamp is back. Every single time there's been a pedal innovation. Wait, hold on. The lamp is so important. Is that my, wait, how did Mike Matthews get the lamp? Rock and roll. My name's Mike I want to see on a globe the travels of the lamp. So it's from England, Nashville, Japan, New York. But I know business and I know good ideas. Has Mike Matthews ever been that?